G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today, I'm going to show you the fastest way of solving algebraic equations with variables on both sides of the equation. So something that looks like this. Say we had 4x minus 4, and that was equal to 3x plus 2. And how we can go through and solve this almost instantly. So the way we're going to solve this is I'm going to move all the x values onto the left-hand side of the equation and all the other values onto the right-hand side of the equation. So to do that, what we do is, first off, we're going to get rid of this 3x here by subtracting it away. So we subtract 3x from the right-hand side here, we get rid of it. But what we do to the right, we have to do to the left to keep everything equal. So we subtract 3x from the left-hand side here. So 4x minus 3x, that gives us the value of x, or just 1x. This is equal to, well, we're going to get rid of this negative 4 on the left-hand side here. And the way we do that is we add 4 to both sides of the equation. If we add 4 to the left-hand side, we get rid of that part there. If we add 4 to the right-hand side of the equation, we end up with 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And there you go, we have our answer, x is equal to 6. It's pretty simple, right? Really simple trick to use. So what about three of these examples that you can try? We'll start with 6x minus 3 is equal to 4x plus 7. Uh, next we have 3x minus 4 is equal to 4x minus 1. And finally, we have 2x plus 2 is equal to 6x plus 3. So pause the video and give these a go. And when you've got your answers, what about you come back and see how you have gone? So, you done that? Let's have a look at the answers. So we have 6x minus 3 equals 4x plus 7. So I'm going to get rid of this 4x first by subtracting it away. And I'm going to subtract 4x from this side. 6x minus 4x gives me 2x. I'm going to get rid of this negative 3 here by adding 3 to both sides. So get rid of that negative 3, add 3 to this side, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. We have 2x is equal to 10, therefore x is going to be equal to 10 divided by 2, which is 5. x equals 5. How'd you go with that one? Alright, cool. Let's have a look at the next one. We have 3x minus 4 equals 4x minus 1. So this time, I'm going to get rid of the 3x on the left-hand side here by taking it away. So I take 3x off the right-hand side also. 4x minus 3x is equal to x. To get rid of this negative 1 here, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So we're going to add 1 to this side here. Negative 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 3. We have x is equal to negative 3. You going 2 for 2? All right, to the last question. We have 2x plus 2 equals 6x plus 3. This one's a little bit trickier. But first off, what we're going to do is we take 2x off the left-hand side. So we're going to take 2x off the right-hand side there. 6x minus 2x is equal to 4x. So let's take 3 off this side and take 3 off the left-hand side too. We end up with 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So 4x is equal to negative 1. Therefore, x is going to equal negative 1 divided by 4. That is negative 1 divided by 4. Negative a quarter. Is that what you got? Hopefully. Hopefully you got 3 for 3 there. Anyway, tell me what you think of this particular trick. Do you think it's faster? Do you think it's much the same? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, as usual, a big shout out to my subscribers and a really big shout out to my patrons. If you wish to support the Tech Math channel, there is a link in the description where you can become a patron of the Tech Math channel and help keep math free, which it already is. Anyway, take care and I'll see you next time.